Hi, welcome to my level. A um, little bit of context for this. When the player would have gotten here from the game, the quest they would have received to get here would have instructed them that strange occurrences have been appearing in this mountain and the person who paid them wants them to figure out why. So the player doesn't know very much coming into this area. Coming into this main room, they're immediately going to be ambushed by a variety of skeletons around this room. Um, you'll notice on this side there's a locked iron door and they do not have the key for it and the skeletons won't have the key for it. Um, and in here they'll find a bunch of things, some alchemy items, a map, and some various other magical things, um, sort of indicating that some kind of wizard or mage was in here, and that's sort of the first micro-narrative and a hint to the player of who they're ultimately going to be facing and who they're going to be dealing with. As they continue in here, they'll come up this stairway into this room where there will be only one skeleton and it will be by this pit. This is to draw the player in because this is where the second sort of micro-narrative is. At this point, a scripted event will happen where they're pushed into this pit and they'll find themselves falling down a seemingly endless pit. And this is to give the player the impression that they're just incredibly deep underground when they land. And they find themselves in this strange subterranean cavern um, with a uh, Falmer tents set up and all these docks um, that don't seem to be a Falmer origin. When they show up here, they'll be ambushed by a bunch of Falmer from the tents. Um, defeating those, they can search through the tents, finding just minor little things from the farmer who live here, but in this tent over here, they'll find uh, an alchemy lab in the third micro-narrative, because in this chest you'll find um, a variety of fish and also stuff from the farmer, which indicates the person who's here isn't really on their side. Um, and going to this big tent, you'll find a strange tunnel to an underground area. Um, and you'll start descending even deeper. So the player at this point will think they're just so deep underground it'll be really hard to get back up to the surface. And then they'll emerge into this room um, where they'll fight a... they'll fight the boss, they'll fight the main wizard guy. He'll attack them. He's the one that pushed them into the pit originally so the player probably doesn't like him much at this point. Um, of course he may be confused how the wizard got down here so quickly but um, probably be too busy fighting to think about that too much. Upon killing the wizard, he'll continue on. And this is sort of the completion of that second micro-narrative I was talking about, that big, long pit, because upon exiting this door, the player will need this key right here, which would usually be on the wizard, but there is no wizard. They'll find themselves right back where they started, and... This is to indicate that there's something really strange about this uh, dungeon the players found themselves in. But they're right near the entrance, they've completed the quest, and almost no backtracking is required to get back to the main entrance.